the three autonomous district councils have sought 48 hours time from the state government to examine the governor's recent notification for implementing the provisions of the Code of Criminal Procedure 1973 and Code of Civil Procedure CPC 1908 throughout Meghalaya. The heads of the KHADC, the JHADC and the GHADC on Tuesday met Chief Minister Konrad Sangma and expressed concerns over the dilution of powers of the District Council Courts because of the notification. Uh, our saying is our District Council Courts should not be diluted. Uh, the power which we got since the inception of the Constitution uh, should not be diluted. Uh, we have a village court. Uh, district court, and we just applied in the district court the spirit of CRPC and CPC, not the letter. And in the village court, we don't ha don't uh, apply the spirit of CRPC and CPC. So that should not be diluted, and we as uh, we are uh, in the same line with the CRPC and the CPC. This should not be diluted. The GHDC Deputy CEM clarified that the three ADCs would hold meetings on the issue separately. Marak said that the three ADCs are worried that the proposal to implement the two courts in Meghalaya would dilute the powers of the District Council Courts. We are all concerned about the dilution of our power of District Council Courts. We just uh, said to the, the Chief Minister or the Chief Minister that the dilution should not be there. That's what are what, what, what the power of the District Council Court has been practicing since the inception of the Constitution should be continued. This, uh, this are our concern. Echoing similar concern, KHDC Chief Titos Khan said that the Chief Minister has assured them that the powers of the District Council Courts will not be diluted. Meanwhile, Chief Minister Konrad Sangma said that there was no question of diluting or infringing upon the judicial powers of the district councils. Steps taken or suggested by the government are only to regularize the overall functioning of the judiciary. He observed that the powers conferred upon the deputy commissioners earlier were drawn from the 1973 code. There was no question of diluting or infringing into the powers of the the judicial powers of the district council and that uh, whatever steps are being taken right now and are being suggested by the government is only to regularize the overall functioning of the judiciary where the separation of the executive from the judiciary has taken place and uh, the judiciary uh, the executive earlier uh, used to uh, ha take up cases and that those powers were conferred or they used to draw them from the 1937 Act. Uh, and uh, once the judiciary and the executive were separated, the uh, ADC judicial did not have the powers to continue. And hence the judicial magistrates uh, came into being. And uh, the fact that the judicial magistrates today are uh, taking up cases, they, are, uh, they have to be conferred power under some provisions. He said that the provisions of the 1973 set of rules were specific to the DC since there was no judiciary at that point in time. And hence, it is being suggested that it should be drawn from para five. Uh, but while we say that, it's simply to ensure that the continuity of the judi judiciary in terms of now from the ADC judiciary to the judicial magistrates can happen in a smooth manner. Sangma said they are hopeful of taking the matter to its logical conclusion once the three ADCs explain their stand to the state government within the 48 hours sought.